Good morning, everybody. This is Azrael. I just want to share a word of encouragement with everyone this morning to not worry, but to trust God and to trust God's purpose for your life. So the scripture that I'm going to be teaching from is from Matthew 6, verses 31 through 33. And it reads, Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? So today I just want to share with everyone to to not sweat the small things in life or to not worry about the small details in life, you know. But God desires his children, you know, to live by faith, you know, and to trust God, you know. And as children of God, you know, we are, you know, people of relationship and we have a covenant with God, you know. And God, it's God's duty to provide for us and God will provide for us. God will take care of us. He will meet every need. God is, he's more than sufficient to meet every one of our needs. And God doesn't want us to be, you know, bogged down or weighed down, you know, by worries. But God wants us to have joy, you know, because we are trusting in him, you know. And when we're trusting it in God, we experience his faithfulness, you know, and we ex experience his love. And we experience, you know, the life that he intended for us to experience. So today I just want to have, I just want to wake everybody up with that encouragement today, you know that. You know today is not the day to worry, you know about issues or any problems in life, but today is the day to trust God, you know, and to see his salvation, to see his goodness, you know, in your life, you know, to see his deliverance in your life. And in verse 32, it says, "For after all these things the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. So God has been talking about me today about a deeper purpose, you know, and it's, it, there's a deeper purpose in life than worrying about, you know, what we're going to wear or what we're going to eat or how we're going to pay our bills, you know. And, you know, there's things of the world, you know, that require our attention, but there's also heavenly things, you know, and God desires his children to be heavenly minded. So God doesn't want us to be so consumed you know, are so distracted by the things of the world, you know, the things, the day-to-day -day things, but he wants us to be, you know, more focused on him, you know, and trusting him and experiencing, you know, our true calling in life, you know, experiencing our heavenly calling in life, you know. So today is a day to shift, shift your focus, so to speak, to choose, you know, your destiny, so to speak, to choose the things that you're going to set your mind upon today or to choose the things that are important to you today. So today is the day to put God first in his rightful place, to not exalt, you know, the different things in life, whether it be problems, whether it be good things, you know, but it, today is the day to exalt God and put God on his pedestal. And today to, is today to, you know, walk in the power and the blessing of living a, a life of faith in God. And in verse 33, it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So God wants his people to be blessed with all things. And no doubt God is going to provide for his people, you know, just like how God provides for everything else in the world, everything else that's created. You know, the sun shines, you know, day in and day out. God's mercy and his love for his people is the same. It's there day in and day out. God's nature is the same from everlasting to everlasting. He's he's there with us and he's for us day in and day out, you know. But God wants us to seek, you know, his kingdom first. Because his kingdom has preeminence, because his kingdom is the most important thing. His kingdom is what ultimately all of his children are created for, you know, and God wants us to prioritize him to prioritize seeking peace, you know, and seeking his righteousness, you know, that comes through him, you know, because those are, these are the eternal things and the most important things and the things that God has created us for. And as we seek those things and we put God in his rightful place, all the blessings will come and they'll be added to us and we'll be overwhelmed. We'll be overtaken by blessing. So God just desires his people to come into a place of empowerment today, coming to a place of not worrying, not striving after 
the things of the world, you know, not struggling, you know, to get where you need to get in this life, but trusting God, resting, and, you know, entering into true peace, entering into true joy, entering into God's life, entering into God's purpose, you know. So I just want to bless everyone with that, encourage everyone with that. Today is, is the day to choose who you will serve. And we pray that you all serve the Lord today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.